Hello, my queens. This is The Sit Down, and I'm here with actors Noah Galvin and Molly Gordon, stars of the new film, Book Smart. Hello, babies. Hello. How are you? Good, 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 good. Okay, so I'm so excited about this movie. Um, as someone who was a nerd and should have been wilder in school, um, let's take a quick look. <laughs> we didn't party because we wanted to focus on school and get into good colleges. And it worked. But the irresponsible people who partied also got into those colleges. I'm incredible at hand jobs, but I also got a 1560 on the SATs. Okay, and that is called multitasking. <laughs> All right. Yes. yes All right. Definitely. Listen, well, I don't 21st know if she ever did woman. Both I love once, it. Well, you don't know her life. You're right. You're right. right. I, I wish that I was good at any of those things, but <laughs> I can't say that I am. <laughs> okay, that's fair. We like yeah, transparency. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did you? I mean, I just love the idea of this. I think you know when we're all like out of school. There's sometimes when we imagine like maybe I could have had a little bit more fun. Is that part of what drew you both to this movie? Yeah, I mean. <laughs> What drew me to this movie was um, Olivia. Okay. Because I just think she's such an extraordinary actress. Yeah. It was um, cool to see her be a director. And she was such an incredible director. I wanted mm -hmm. to work with her. And then Beanie was mm -hmm. cast as the lead, and she's one of our best friends. So okay. Noah and I did everything we could to be cast. Oh, okay. And how long yeah. have you both known Beanie? Molly longer than I. Since I was like 13. Oh and gosh. you like five years? Like yeah. Years. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I'm yeah. obsessed. What's it like being friends with someone just in real life, knowing them really well, and then you're like at work? I don't know. It was like a gift, especially okay. on a, you know, a, a movie set is like the funnest place to be. Okay. You know, you just get to like have a joyous, wonderful time making like right. fun, okay. comedic art together, you know? Totally. And we just got to like let our friendship inform all of the all of the fun we had at work. Just yeah. light up all the chemistry. Yeah, and, and you can get nervous sometimes, but when you look, you know, across and it's your closest <laughs> friend, you feel like you can be free in a different okay. way. Yeah, I that. so that was special. That's good. Okay, so speaking of, speaking of gifts, uh, today is your birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. Okay, listen. Okay. Okay. People are flipping out. Very expensive sound effect. <laughs> um, what, how old are you? 25. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, girl. Okay, do you have plans? How are you feeling? Um, I... <laughs> He's devastated. <laughs> I'm feeling like that... I saw a meme the other day that was like, gays at the age of 25, and it was Melisandre yes. falling yes. into the snow. And yeah. Yeah, 25 is... No, I don't actually feel oh, that you're way, Almost though. to your midlife gay crisis. Yeah, we'll probably. There. Quarter like life, 30. at least. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I just feel like we can't connect because I'm 24. Yeah. Like, like, I don't even know whoa, who you are. Yeah, now. exactly. No, You're yeah. so much older than me. Yeah. Can't even relate. No, We're just going to surround you with gay um, witches. No, I'm just going to send you the good vibes. That's right. Vibes. Thank you. Um, <laughs> well, happy birthday. Um, well, we were talking about Olivia Wilde, and I, you know, I love her on screen. Um, I'm excited to see her work as a director. Tell us more about working with her. She was just so relaxed mm -hmm. and so happy like it felt exactly what she was meant to do yeah she's just amazing she's not only like an actor's director she's been an actor for so long so she was mm -hmm. able to like meet us where we were at um and make us feel safe and create this like beautiful safe space for us to just like play and be crazy mm -hmm. in and you know mess up and do all the things that you need to do in order to make like a good film. And she not only was like an actor's director, but she also just schooled like every facet of uh, what it takes to be a director. Mm -hmm. She was like so technical and able to, you know, just be on the on the same page with like every single department. It was totally so she inspiring cared about to every watch. department in all a right. way that I haven't really seen. And I think it shows in the movie like every every choice that you made is so specific. Mm -hmm. It looks like real high school. It doesn't look like a high school movie. Okay. They feel like real people, like, like the costuming, like the music. Yeah. All right. So no, yeah. no accidental like Starbucks. No, like, no um, Starbucks. No Starbucks. Unless Starbucks. it was supposed Pubs. to be there. That's right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Well, so what was, um, did you, were there scenes where you were like, I am so excited to do this because I always kind of wish I got to do it in high school? I mean, you're a karaoke. Yeah, person. I got to like very last minute, I was thrown into a karaoke scene in the movie. Tell us more. Um, in which I had to sing Alanis Morissette's You Oughta Know. And they sort of, like, didn't really know how the day was going to go or, like, how much of it they were going to use. Okay, like, if we have time. Yeah, uh -huh. so they sort of, like, threw me and Caitlin Deaver in the corner and had us learn the entire song. Okay. Um, and so we spent, like, two hours that morning just learning You Ought to Know <laughs> and then singing it, like, 50-odd, you know, some yeah. odd times. It seems like a really hard song, actually, to sing. 
even close to well. Sure, but I didn't really have to sing okay, well. Okay, you know, it was a drunken karaoke scene. I could just. But you're, you're vocally strong in it. Thank you. You sound fantastic. Thank you very much. He's on Broadway right now. He's so he has. Yes. yes. How are you, waitress? How about you? Um, was there a scene that you were just like, "This is it. This is my revenge for high school." I feel like. <laughs> getting to say that I was good at the SAT. <laughs> <laughs> was was your ultimate revenge. Literally the fact that I got to say that line, I was like, this is so incredible. Um, to look back and go back to how sad I was during that time when I was failing it, to be mm -hmm. like, it's okay, you'll like get to say in a movie uh -huh. that you were good at. <laughs> but no, getting to like be mean to Beanie in a movie. It was yeah, a it was fun. very was a life fun. Goal. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you were mean to me. Too. It's almost like easier yeah, to be enemies with your with, with your, your friends. friends. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, it's harder to be friends with your friends on camera. I think. Oh, interesting. Why? I don't really know. Okay, because I was <laughs> I was like, would you? It was like you say something mean, and then you have to cut because you're you're gonna break immediately. Or yeah, maybe yeah. We make each other laugh a lot. We've totally. like written things and and done little shorts together, mm -hmm. and we. I just can't handle anything Noah does ever. So I'm I'm actually lucky that I didn't work with him that many times in this movie. Um, I feel like you feel like you can be mean to your friend. There's like a freedom where if you're working with someone you haven't and mm -hmm. you're being mean to them, you feel like, I hope you know that I'm not this character. Mm -hmm. But he knows that we love each other and mm -hmm. he knows that yeah. we love Good. each other. Yeah. Good, I would hope so. Yeah, I would yeah. hope so. Hopefully. Yeah. Uh, Noah, I did want to ask you, uh, your Vulture interview in 2015 uh, got people's attention. I was mm -hmm. screaming yes at my desk uh, just a few <laughs> feet away from here. Actually, it was 2016. Um, you kept it real. Uh, you were you know, talking about representation in Hollywood and um, and I and, and even Daniel Francese was just talking about like after playing his role in Mean Girls, he mm -hmm. felt like he has been typecast ever since. Um, have things begun to change in the years since you had that conversation? Like, have you had some people come up to you and say like, "Thank you, actually, like we need to talk about this." Um, a little bit. I don't know. I would hope that like that conversation. You know, I don't think I was the one to start that conversation, mm -hmm. but I hope that she like, joined it. I yeah. certainly <laughs> joined that conversation, didn't I? Yeah. Um, I'm, but uh, you know, I'm I'm happy to be a part of that conversation, a small piece of that conversation. Mm -hmm. um, you know, as uh, non diplomatically as it, as it may have as I may have done it, mm -hmm. um, happy to be a part of that conversation. And I don't know. I don't know if it's changing. Mm -hmm. I would hope so. I'd hope that like this movie is a little, you know, step in that direction. Yeah. Caitlin Deaver plays a queer character in this movie, mm -hmm. and I think it like beautifully explores what it's like to be a a, a young queer person mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in like a really real way. Awesome. Yeah, and the movie isn't about the like trials and tribulations right. of being a queer person, but it's just like exploring a a person who happens to be queer, and I think that's a beautiful thing. I love it. So let this movie. <laughs> That conversation March that conversation for it. March <laughs> conversation. I mean, I love it. I, you know, it's, I don't know. I think when shit's fucked up, sometimes you got to say fucked up shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, well, so you are on Broadway. Uh, you've been on the stage here in New York, off Broadway as well. Um, off off Broadway. Together. Off Broadway. We were together. together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We stand. Um, I want to ask you if, if you could uh, step into any role right now. You know, on stage or not, or you're like dying to be in Oklahoma or something. What would you, what would you two opt for? <laughs> Actually, now I want to see you two star in Oklahoma together. Well, I just saw it, and it's yeah, yeah. incredible. It's, yeah. it's My brother-in-law, Will Brill, yeah. plays Ali Hackman oh, in, in it. Yeah. I knew that. Hackham, yeah, in it, yes. <laughs> He's amazing. He's very amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to do, I'd like to just be like shucking be corn in the back. Justa? Like, don't even, yeah. Just you want to be Ann Eller? <laughs> yeah, I want to be an Eller. There we go. I like it. But she's amazing. Yeah. Any role? I don't know. I'm in Waitress right now playing Ogie. Maybe I'd like to take a swing at Jenna. Okay. <laughs> I'm, here. I'm here for I see the vision. I, I see it. the vision too. Yeah, we're like, we got you, girl. Yeah. Oh. Well, Noah, Molly, y'all are just absolutely delightful. Um, and I'm so excited everyone's going to see you very soon in Book Smart. Uh, guys, it premieres nationwide Friday, May 24th. Go support it. You love these movies. You want more of them? We got to show up for them. Up next, Isaac is going to sit down with writer Nick Hornby.